Shabbat Shalom! Woo! Woo! Whoopa! What are three words that you would use to describe <laughs> living in this house? Mm. Loud, for sure. There's lots of people, and there's <laughs> there's always someone home. People seem to think it's pretty wild that that many people are in one house. Like, there's always something to do. It's not like I'm just ever, like, Board because someone's always here and someone's also like always down to like get ice cream, coffee, just do something. Chaotic a bit. Um, I don't think we're a group that's super great with plans. Living with the amount of people that we live with is a lot. I grew up really attached to my home. Like I have my three older sisters. Our home base was very much so like our safe haven. Like. So never did I expect to find a version of that in college with people that I met only four years ago. I think comforting. It's very, it's like a very, like I feel comfortable here um, with the people and also just in the environment. Crowded. Dishes. Priceless. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of dishes. <laughs> And there's a lot of people. <laughs> but but yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world. And crowded I feel like has a negative connotation to it. And I don't mean it in that sense. But like there are a lot of bodies, that's undeniable. There's a there's a lot of people in this house. Well I think you get used to it in the sense that there is always another person or other people around. It also gives you a chance to like have like different friendships with different people because then you like get to learn more about them and then you find like weird connections in like different ways well i think what's made living off campus and like in the college experience super different is just all the time that we spent together also like last year especially um so, like, definitely some, like, unhealthy codependency, like, for sure. I think we're just really, really lucky to not only live with our friends, but we've been able to, like, just attach that to the home that we're living in. When in, when we think of the house, I think the jouch is what, like, comes to my mind if I'm talking about the house. No, that jouch is magical. You just get sucked in. I don't know, it's a great couch because you can fit a lot of people on for, like, movies. I also really like the laundry chute. Even though we had to clean it out, I really like to throw laundry down it. <laughs> but the porch has something special about it, and that we all, the eight of us, have our different moments on the porch. I love our porch. I I love sitting on the porch um, and just looking out on the street. There's been some like really funny moments, but... I feel like I don't know what's appropriate to say. <laughs> it kind of feels like, in a weird way, like a little family. Because, you know, like, when we go out to, some, like, 187 or, like, Northwood. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's fun, like, being with a big group of people. It, it's like a little family full of people who aren't family. <laughs> Moving out of this house this stage coming to a close what am I most scared of it's just like not having this I mean we are a family and like it sounds cheesy but it's not having them this family around you literally at all times like dysfunctional of course a shit ton of dishes of course but it's gonna suck when it's done <laughs> like I am so Scared. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's gonna be sad. <laughs> That's one thing I'm kind of afraid of, is like going to a new place to live and not knowing anyone, and then being kind of like uncomfortable and lonely. It's 
gonna feel like a magic trick, if that makes sense. It's gonna be, like, everyone's there all of a sudden, and, like, before anyone realizes, everyone's kind of gonna disappear. It's gonna be quieter, that's for sure. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be really quiet. I think that's what's gonna be a weird change. And it's gonna be different. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Ridiculous.